looking for real love. Anybody looking? Tonight you can find a real love. I'm glad I found a real love. So glad I have. In the presence of my Savior is real love. I'm so glad I found a real love. That's love. Now just encourage somebody. That's love. The kind that picks you up when you're all. that you love, love on them, come on, hallelujah, God, we love you today. for the pastors that are in the house glory to god hallelujah i'm especially blessed hallelujah for pastor sabrina lewis amen hallelujah pastor tristan spencer glory to god hallelujah minister shaq harris hallelujah glory to god and our very own elder samantha johnson hallelujah oh fire chosen hallelujah I'm so glad for evolution empowerment, but I'm so glad to be able to pastor, hallelujah, be privileged to pastor the best church that I've ever been privileged to pastor. I mean, I've pastored some churches, but this is the best one that I've ever been able to pastor, amen. Fire Chosen Ministries, we love you, amen. We see you, we appreciate you. Hallelujah, you drove from Florida to get here. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Well, I just came from Sanford, but it's still a good ways to come. Okay. All right. Hallelujah. If you came from across the street, that's still a good ways to come to be in the house of the Lord. Lord have mercy. All right. I'm just giving you a moment. Hallelujah. You're going to help me preach. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't get quiet now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're going to preach together. Is that all right? Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm glad to see you. Hallelujah. Know that the Lord saved you and kept you. Hallelujah. Could have been another way. Hallelujah. But I'm glad. Hallelujah. That it was not. Lord have mercy. All right then. Well, I see y'all just want to patty cake and pitter patter. Aren't you glad that it was? Could have been another way, but it was not. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, that's our plan. Jay, can I just talk to you? It could have and it should have been another way. But tell somebody it was not. Oh, y'all playing, y'all playing. Lord have mercy. And Pastor Avery, glory to God. It was not. Y'all, Lord have mercy. I know we thank him for what it was. Hallelujah. But I just got to praise God for the clothes for him. I got to praise in my spirit. Hallelujah. For what he did not allow. I'm 
I'm just waiting on you to catch up to the memory of what it was supposed to be. What it felt like, what it looked like. Lord have mercy. The prophet said he saw me when I was strangling in my own blood. They about shot you. They about shot you. Some of us were strangling in our own mess. Entangled in the yoke of sin, but God delivered us. All right. Let's, 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 I have a word I want to share. I want to share. Just going to share with you. Glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Since you danced already. <laughs> I mean, in case you haven't recognized that the preacher got to stand and tell you that's the moment where you realize, hallelujah, where you are supposed to be giving him glory for what God kept you from and what God rescued you out of and what God delivered you from, from the hand of the enemy. He has snatched me. <laughs> he has kept me from the fowler. He has kept me.
right now. Hallelujah. Listen, don't you love the God? You ain't even got to be there for him to do. Our presence don't mean that he can't do. Somebody ought to believe God. Go to my house. Go to your house. You already know what he's going to do when he get there. You already know. So it's a done deal. Glory to God. And it is so. It is so. Somebody shout right now. Uh, I, I, I love you for that God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen, there's a word from the Lord I'd like to share. I feel like I'm supposed to share. Out of 2 Kings, the fourth chapter. Somebody shout hallelujah when you're there. Amen. Verse 1 says, Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant my husband is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? And she said, Thine handmaid had not anything in the house save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go borrow uh, the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels, borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon you and your sons, and shalt pour out into all those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she sent from him and shut the door upon her and her sons, who brought the vessels to her, and she poured out. And it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said unto her son, bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, there is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. Then she came and told the man of God. And he said, go sell the oil and pay thy debt and live you and your children of the rest. Let us pray. Holy Ghost, do it again. In Jesus' name, we'll give you the glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. We uh, uh, approach this text, this particular uh, pericope here, um, with a widow of one of the prophets of the school of the prophets coming to Elisha. Um, the fact that she's a widow lets us know that her husband is dead, um, and no doubt she honors him by even saying he was one who basically served well in the school of the prophets. He served under Elisha, which um, brought the familiarity of his service and the relationship, glory to God, that he had with Elijah, but she was in trouble now. She was in trouble, Elder, because uh, she didn't have any money. Lord, I wish it was somebody. See, somebody should have just identified right there. She had bills with no money. Okay. Hallelujah. Y'all look good. Hallelujah. But I know the truth in here. Hallelujah. That there are some of us who just have bills and have been at the place where you had no money. And because she was a widow, she was not able to work for herself. It'd be different if she could do for herself. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. It would be different if she could have made her own way. But according to the law, she could not work. And because she could not work, she she had no money, and this man went up and died and left her with bills and no money. Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't let your provider die. Hallelujah. In your life. Glory to God, because you'll be stuck. Okay. That was just okay. Well, let me come on back, Shaq. How that, that talking to me right there. Hallelujah. And glory to God. Hallelujah. This woman, this widow, um, because of the law and not being able to pay her bills according to the Mosaic law, then they, the creditor had a right to her children. 
Lord have mercy, had a right to take her children as bondmen. Oh, Lord have mercy, had a right to take them until Jubilee came. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Hallelujah. Had a right to put them in servitude until Jubilee came when everybody goes free. Now, I know we like shouting and talking about freedom. Hallelujah. But is there anybody in here who's ever been bound and felt like freedom was on the way, but you hadn't gotten there yet? I mean, you've been in deep. You've been in the dark. Hallelujah. And you can see the light at the tunnel, but you haven't reach the light yet. Glory to God. You know it's almost over. You know you're at the end of the thing. Hallelujah. And we know that better is the end of a thing. Glory to God. But but you're not at the end of it yet. Glory to God. And you haven't reached that place. Hallelujah. Of jubilee where everybody goes free and the pressure is building to sustain. Oh God. Anybody feel the pressure to sustain in a society that's not designed for you to live. Lord have mercy. To sustain in a place where you're not even supposed to strive and do well. Glory to God. It's not designed for the kingdom of God to go forward. Uh, Anybody feel the pressure in the atmosphere? I mean, if you're a good praiser, you can feel the pressure of everybody on your row wishing that you better not move again. Uh, Hallelujah. You can feel the pressure from those who are watching trying to see what you're going to say and if you're going to prophesy to them when they should have received the spirit of God uh, before they can get the word. (laughs) Hallelujah. And so then the pressure, Pastor, of all odds being against us, but God having a way of shifting so that the odds work in our favor. Uh, Lord have mercy. While you're waiting for the shift, you're seeking God to do something. While you're waiting for the shift, hallelujah, you're looking for God to move. Hallelujah. Glory to God uh, uh, for you and on your behalf. Lord have mercy. I got enough preachers in here, so I'm just going to share tonight. Is that all right? Hallelujah. And so what she does, glory to God, Mika, what she does is she seeks out some godly wisdom. Oh, my Lord. She doesn't go and ask Facebook. She doesn't go. Ah, uh, Lord have mercy. Y'all, I must have hit something right there. You see how low it got? Hallelujah. Somebody asked Facebook yesterday. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I tried to find a recommendation, Lord. But do I have anybody in here who will ask for a recommendation from the kingdom? Who will ask for a recommendation from God? Who will ask God, what do you say that I should do? What do you, how do you want me to move, Lord have mercy? What do you think uh, this does for me? How many people, she goes, she goes to the prophet of God and you know uh, Lord I ain't talking about the fake ones I'm talking about the real ones hallelujah she goes to a real prophet of God and as uh, a prophet of God as sure as it comes out of Elisha's mouth it is as if it comes from God so this woman while she was in trouble Lord have mercy and her children are in trouble because they about to be slaves Lord have mercy over something they didn't do Lord God can I talk to some folk in here who understand that you got in this situation it was your granddaddy's fault that he hit the blood line. It was your mom and them. Hallelujah. Lord, okay, maybe y'all not Johnsons and Robinsons. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We got a whole new set over here. Glory to God. Ah, Lord have mercy. But glory to God. You you in stuff and in situations and you don't know where it came from. You know that you didn't do it, uh, but it's causing you to go into a bondage. And so then, hallelujah, uh, it, it's causing you to go into bondage. And so uh, when you need help in this type of trouble, glory to God, the woman, the widow had to go to the prophet. And she said, hey, you know my man's gone, Lord have mercy. I'm just paraphrasing. She said, you know my husband's gone. And they about to take my kids and they going to make them serve. They going to make them slaves, Lord have mercy. They going to take my promise and put it in bondage. They going to take my promise and lock it up. They going to take my promise and see if it to pay back for them. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Anybody got a promise over your life? Hallelujah. Glory to God. And it seemed like everything is after your promise. Hallelujah. Everything wants to come and jerk your promise and snatch your promise. And yet you know this is what God gave to you. Uh, Somebody shout, not my promise. Uh, my promise. And in the conversation, uh, uh, the prophet says, "What, what, what shall I do for you? What do you want me to do? 
But I love the way we read the text. Hallelujah. His questions did not stop there. Uh, Sarita, the questions did not stop. He says, what shall I do for you? And then says, and what's in your house? Lord have mercy. Uh, God says, hallelujah, to tell the church, I'm not about to do this for you. Glory to God. But this next miracle is going to come out of you. This next miracle is going to come right out of your house. This next miracle that you're about to get, glory to God, is going to come out of what's already been given unto you. This, okay, okay, okay. This next miracle is going to come from what God is already. Oh. You see how stifled that is, overseer, hallelujah, to where the enemy already has people deceived that they don't even know that God has built up treasure in us, that God has already put something so valuable inside of us uh, that when you get up and the enemy sees you uh, and the enemy recognizes she woke up again, uh, he got up again, uh, that he already starts plotting, he already starts planning, uh, hallelujah, but how many know the plan will not work, glory to God, uh, the plan will not work it was canceled before he started it glory to God and so then I just have a question out of this text here is there oil in your house is there oil in your house is there oil in your house she said she said, I don't have anything. I have not anything save a pot of oil. Hallelujah. But, but God said that's going to be the exception. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord have mercy. Can I talk to some folks who got oil in your house? Hallelujah. Uh, to let you know that that's the exception to the rule. Hallelujah. You are the exception because while you don't have anything, you still have oil. Uh, while you don't have anything, you got a pot of oil. Lord have mercy. It's all right. I'm preaching better than y'all responding. You got to realize, look down your room and tell somebody you are the exception. You are the exception. You need to know, hallelujah, everybody's not like you. Everybody's not made like you. Everybody's not centered in this thing like you. Everybody's not a sign like you. You are the exception. Uh, glory to God. And if they ain't receive it, go and preach to your own self and say, I am the exception. Everybody can't do what I do. Everybody's not walking like I walk. Everybody's not lived through what I've lived through. Baby, I am the exception to the rule. The rule says I'm not supposed to be here but I'm the exception Lord have mercy here they said I wouldn't make it they said I wouldn't be here today but there's an exception I just preached a fire chosen deed. Uh, there is an exception on my life. I was down to nothing, uh, but God was up to everything in my life. Uh, I minister Harris and I was empty but God kept filling. Is there oil in your house? I don't know about you, but it took a miracle for me to be here. Lord have mercy. I thought it was Miracle Monday. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. Y'all still stuck. Hallelujah. In last week, but it's Miracle Monday. You don't know what I went through just to get here. It was a miracle that I woke up. It was a miracle that the plan of the enemy did not destroy me. It was a miracle that I'm not so depressed I decided to kill myself. It was a miracle. Hallelujah. That I got up again after the 10th time I've been knocked out it's a miracle that I kept going forward it's a I'm an exception daughter hallelujah glory to God because everybody don't come through what you've been through hallelujah glory to God it took a miracle some folks died in what you survived oh now you ought to release your glory to God right there you ought to release your praise to God right there I know there's oil in this house I'm just going to keep digging until I strike hallelujah glory to God hallelujah glory to God overseer he asked it's oh God he asked what's in your house she said I don't have anything but oil and a little pot at that hallelujah won't even no big vat of oil it was a small little container a little flask of oil hallelujah glory to God can I encourage you as you encourage somebody and say it's enough hallelujah glory to God I know it don't look like much but it's enough I know you don't feel like it's gonna work hallelujah but it's enough I know it's just a few of us in here but it's enough I know hallelujah Lord have mercy glory to God you never had to take and make a dollar out of 15 cents but 15 cents was enough to stretch y'all ain't saying nothing it was enough 
enough. Hallelujah. A little flour and some oil. Y'all ain't saying that. Dinner. It was enough. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Elder said, I have no clue what you're talking about. Hallelujah. One shirt, one skirt. It was enough to cover you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. It was enough to get you through the door. It was enough. Lord, have mercy. I've got enough oil on my life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. To deliver me out of the hand of the enemy. And when I stand in need of a miracle, I can ask, is there oil? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Is there oil in your house? Is there oil in your house? Somebody shout, I'm the exception. I'm the exception. Oh, Lord, you got to believe that thing in this season. Because some folks not going to get through what you have to go through. You got to understand that this is not designed for you to make it. Hallelujah. But you're designed to endure hardness as good soldiers. Lord, have mercy. You're designed to get through everything. Hallelujah. Greater is he that's in you. God than he that's in the world hallelujah baby I was built for this I didn't know hallelujah I was made this way here oh, Lord have mercy I didn't know what would happen when our niece met Jay hallelujah but they hooked up and here I am hallelujah glory to God I didn't know the resilience of a Robinson would help me get through the worst days of my life I didn't know hallelujah the smile of a Johnson would help me even on the days I wanted to cry but it was enough in my house that I could smile when I felt like crying. What do you have in your house? What do you have in your person? What do you have in your family? What do you have in your ministry? What do you have in your church? I might not have a baddest musician but glory to God. I got two feet to stomp, two hands to clap, a mic to preach. What's in your house? Hallelujah. Is there oil in your house? Wait a minute. And so he asked her the questions. She said, I ain't got nothing but a little pot of oil. I don't have anything. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, praise leader, we praise with you, so you got to preach with me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so what he did, he asked her, he said, I'm going to give you some instructions. Listen, we understand, Avery, that instructions are given to fulfill purpose. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how we get the, the instructions with everything, and that's the first thing we throw away? That's the first thing we disregard. The instructions teach you how to put it together, right? Y'all ain't saying that. I know myself. Maybe I'm just talking about myself. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They send you the shipment from Amazon. They got the paper and all that stuff in there. And the first thing you do is toss it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. But God said in this season, you cannot afford to toss the instructions. You cannot afford, hallelujah, to release that which is going to cause you to come into purpose. Lord have mercy. I know I told y'all to dance early. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because now, hallelujah, the prophet says, I'm going to give you some instructions he says I want you to go and borrow some vessels I want you to borrow not just a few I want you to get a whole bunch Lord have mercy I want you to get some vessels make sure they empty oh, Lord have mercy overseer just get some vessels make sure they empty he ain't said nothing about cleaning them he ain't say how they have to look he said get you some vessels Lord have mercy y'all gotta catch this hallelujah get some vessels and make sure they empty hallelujah and then bring them in the house bring them in and shut the door y'all ain't saying nothing see that's what's wrong hallelujah glory to God go borrow the vessels from your neighbor Listen, y'all ain't saying nothing. Huh? My surroundings about to bless me. My surroundings about to cause me to be saved. Everything around me is about to put in on my miracle. Y'all ain't saying nothing. What they said and what they did is about to get me blessed. Whoa, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I go to the neighbors. See, you ain't even got to like me. The neighbors can know your name, but just give me that vessel. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't care, hallelujah, who you think I am, but just give me what I need to get my miracle. Jesus, 
the instructions here. He says, go borrow vessels from neighbors. Hallelujah. And, 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 and Lord have mercy. And so uh, you can just get that in your spirit. My surroundings, those that are around me about to save me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, Lord have mercy. Maybe you never ran into an enemy on one side and the other. Hallelujah. But I'm convinced, hallelujah, that some things I ran into save me because it caused me to run the other way. Y'all ain't saying nothing. It was a barrier for me. It held me right in place place glory to God uh, pastor some things I ran into uh, and some things I partook of hallelujah caused me to get right in my own house y'all ain't saying nothing uh, and get right in my own house and pray Lord have mercy uh, but then he said he gave her some further instructions uh, he says and shut the door Lord have mercy uh, and if you shut the door that means you can't talk to nobody but's in there but who's in there right so if you shutting the door that means you gotta shut your mouth too Oh, y'all want instructions. Okay. Hallelujah. You got to be able to shut your mouth when you can shut the door. Lord have mercy. See, you can't go and tell everybody everything because everybody's not included in the miracle that God is doing for you. Everybody is not included in what God wants to do for you. They can be on the same road but not get the same blessing. They can be in the same house but not know the same God. They can be, that's why one person will jump up and shout because they'll catch the word and everybody looking like, what's wrong with them? Because they caught something in the spirit uh, that you didn't get. Uh, you missed it because while you were running your mouth uh, and passing notes, y'all ain't saying nothing, uh, and going back and forth to the bathroom. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, they were following instructions. Uh, praise the Lord, everybody. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, they were lifting up holy hands. Uh, they were opening their mouth and crying loud. Uh, and y'all too low in here. Glory to God. Uh, they were believing God for something they could not see. Uh, they were calling on something. Uh, Calling on God for something they never had. I ain't never seen it. I ain't never had it. But I know my God can supply. Is there oil in your... Y'all too low. I asked the question, is there oil? <laughs> is there oil in your house? He said, I shut the door. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. This is a need to know basis right here. This is for me and my house. <laughs> this is for those who need to know. Hallelujah. How many know? It's an amazing how much we know based off social media. Uh, you can't even shut your phone down long enough, hallelujah, to get a miracle. Can't even shut the laptop down long enough to get a miracle. But when there's oil in your house, baby, you ain't got to worry about what's outside the house. Because your focus is in the house. Lord, have mercy. Uh, Lord, do you got to use what you have. In other words, God says, we need to use what we have. Hallelujah. God said, I'm going to use what I gave you to bless you. While you consider it to be nothing, God said, I gave you everything you needed. It was locked up, tied up in your DNA. And all I needed for you to do is manifest in the earth. I wish some of y'all would show up in the earth. I don't know where your head has been lately, but you got to show up right here. Glory to God. Our Lord have mercy. Your body's here with me in the house of the Lord. But your mind is on the other side of town. Glory to God. Oh, okay, that's too old for you, Jack. Hallelujah. Don't you know that? Hallelujah. Glory to God. God. Have mercy, Jesus. Hallelujah. But glory to God, isn't that just like the people of God? When God is looking for those he desires to use, hallelujah. When God is looking for those he wants to use as a vessel. When God is looking for those who has pure oil. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I know folks got oil, but some of that oil stank. Some of that oil got bugs in it. Some of that oil got the other stuff in it. Some of that oil is mixed up. Y'all ain't saying nothing. But when you got pure oil, Somebody shout, I'm following instructions this season. I'm following instructions. I ain't got nothing but some oil. And now God has sent me some vessels. Lord have mercy. You ain't got nothing but some oil. And now God has sent you some vessels. You want an evolution? Hallelujah. Just get you some vessels. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Who willing to be stretched. Who willing to be poured into. Who willing to say, Lord, any way you use me. And not, not any way you bless me. But any way you use me. Here am I, Lord. Send me. I look crazy for you. I look silly for you. As long as you keep the oil flowing. 
as long as you keep the oil moving, as long as you keep the oil stirred up, as long as you keep the vessels able to receive. Can you receive this? As long as you're able to receive, is there oil in your house? Hallelujah. God said, I'm going to use what you have to get you what you need. I'm going to use what I put in you to get you to where you want to be, to get you to where you need to be. I'm going to use your trial to get you through your trouble. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Ain't learned to pray. To folk wouldn't talk about to me. They were busy talking about me And so I learned to talk to God And he started talking to me about me Saying girl you're an exception to the rule You grew up an only child Don't worry about being lonely I taught you to walk alone From the day you was born I taught you That you have to learn to play by yourself You have to learn to praise by yourself You have to learn to pray by yourself You have to learn to push by yourself is there all in your house you gotta learn how to preach when won't nobody say amen you gotta learn how to read and get it for yourself you gotta learn how to dig and dig until you strike oil till you come up crying holy till you come up believing God till you come up when you should have stayed down I can't stay down it's too much oil I can't stay hidden it's too much oil I can't keep going backwards but every now and again the oil will push me in places I don't want to go it'll push me to prophesy to the wind because ain't nothing there it'll push me to look at an empty house and empty chairs and say be filled in the name of Jesus it'll push me to stand with my back up against the wall and believe that God has anointed me to set captives free has there oil in your house it'll push me when I can't afford to go to the doctor to lay hands on my own self and get my healing come on this miracle Monday y'all looking kind of strange somebody don't believe that you're the exception but if you follow the instructions the Bible says the woman got in the house she was a widow a man won't even dare to encourage her won't dare to rub her back while she was pouring but she kept pouring and she kept pouring and she kept pouring you ought to lean over to somebody and say pour out oh they didn't receive it pour out I know you feel like you don't have much but pour it out baby I know it don't look like much but pour it out I know all you got is a little Jabez prayer I know all you have is a little na 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 tongue in your mouth but glory to God you better speak until God starts speaking you better pray until something happens praise until something happens push press purpose within yourself that God is using you to be oh God oh God that God is using you to upset the enemy I'm the exception I'm used to folk getting mad so the enemy ain't no different if he using you baby let him use you I need good step stools so I can get higher hallelujah cause he has made him a step stool Lord have mercy instructions to follow for the purpose of God instructions to follow for the will of God instructions to follow so that the miracle can happen instructions to follow so that you can see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living I would have fainted unless I believed that God was going to use the oil on my life to get me out of the hand of the enemy glory to God somebody shout pour 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 hallelujah pour 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 
porn, y'all ain't porn, porn, what's he, baby I got something to pour, I know it don't look like much, they said she ain't gonna get up here and say nothing, if I never say another word, I've got enough oil to get you to live it, if you can follow instructions, if I never do another thing, or preach another place, I poured enough oil, and it didn't look like much to me, couldn't even feel a little cap, but if you know like I know, check your elbow, a little oil goes a long way, y'all ain't saying nothing, glory to God, is there oil in your house, is there oil in your life, I'm talking about that good oil, that's been pressed down, that's been crushed, that's been, oh God, withered up, dried up, and crushed, and the outer part thrown away, they might have threw you away, but there was enough oil inside of you to get you back up again, y'all ain't saying nothing, is it just me, is it just me, am I the only one who believes that if I'm the exception and I follow the instructions, then God is gonna make me a distributor. Here comes distribution time. Now that you've been pouring, God said, I'm gonna make you the distribution center. Evolution turns in to distribution. I'm passing out oil, baby. I'm not out of my sight. I'm passing out what you need to save your life. The kind of oil that's gonna keep you out of bondage. The kind of oil that's gonna keep you free. The kind of oil that's gonna deliver you. I started with a jar, but now I got vessels. I started with a little bit. We started at the bottom, but now we are here where you can pour the oil. God, I gotta go. What I need is in the oil. It wasn't in the vessel, but it was in the oil. I just needed a vessel for distribution. Is there oil in your house? Come on, if you got oil, open up and pour, open up and pour. God, I'm pouring all the day. I'm pouring all today. Let the oil flow, let the oil flow. I'm not going to get stuck. Can I help somebody? Will you pour enough oil? It's an oil slick on my road. Hallelujah. When my enemy came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Maybe they got slack on the oil. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Look down your road. Say it's an oil slick. It's an oil slick. All everywhere. Green's up and shining. Oil everywhere. God, I can't help nobody. Can't help nobody but myself. Cause when there's oil. I wish you would recognize that you've got enough oil to deliver you. using the yard. You better wrap back and start using it. You better open your mouth and then say, God, I can't open this. I can't get through this. But the oil, oh Lord have mercy, it's just me, it's just me, it's just me. Is it just me? I don't know. Hallelujah, glory to God. But when I'm in a tight place and I know I'm stuck, I can apply the oil. Small 
mouth, but it's supernatural on it. It might be a small amount, but it's supernatural. Y'all ain't got it. I might not have money, but I got oil. I might not have a lot of things. I might not look all that. Might not have a title, might not have status, but I got oil. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how some had a title, a status, the color, the clothes, hallelujah, and ain't got no oil. And that's not how you're supposed to say, they do not have any oil. <laughs> but some folks ain't got any. The woman said, I don't have anything but a little bit of oil. Her testimony says, is there oil in your house? Yeah, you're going to get the miracle, but it's going to be what I made you. It's going to be with what I put in you. It's going to be with what you already have access to. You got to change your perspective. God said, if you can change your perspective, I can change who you are. You can see yourself in the will of God. You don't have to have that much. Because what he does is get in the midst of it and begin to multiply. Hmm. The Bible says that she poured and she kept pouring. Now explain to me how she was pouring a little bit of oil, but it kept pouring. Explain to me how you've been using the same thing, the same words of prayer, the same words. has expanded you in ways you never imagined. And because you can't necessarily see, we saw it as something small. And God said, I expanded the vision before you even saw it. I made it greater before you even acknowledged it. Can I talk to this church? Hallelujah. Evolution in itself, huh. you've got to continue to evolve, which means you've got to continue to pour, continue to get vessels and bring them, and pour, because once you start doing that, the prophet told uh, the widow, he said, go sell it. See, some people messed up because they won't release what they have. <laughs> some people are already stuck because they holding on to what they value so much. They holding on to the oil to use it for when somebody going to see them. When somebody going to call their name. <laughs> They don't want to worship without a mic and the lights. Oh, but if you get in your secret chamber and begin to worship and begin to pour out on him, you can get more done in God's presence for five minutes than you can get done in this building all night. Is there all in your house? Because what God says, hallelujah, I'm setting you up, but you've got to be willing to follow the instructions. And when you do that, I'm going to make you a distribution center. I'm going to make sure that what's coming out of your house is able to supply needs elsewhere. And it's going to profit you. Now, why y'all so low? You've been asking God to bless you. God said, I'm not going to do this 
you're going to use what I've already given you and you're going to become a blessing to your own house you're going to become a blessing to your own land to your own people and it's going to turn around and bless somebody open your mouth in here come on open your mouth in here we pour out on you oh God we pour out in your presence bless me to distribute the kingdom glory bless me to shift atmospheres bless me this is not only about you this is about you and everyone attached to you this is about your whole house being saved Everybody goes free when you can pour the oil. Everybody goes free when you're willing to give it up. When you follow the instructions, everybody goes free. I'm the exception. You can't stay bound in my presence. You got to be free. Come on, Marissa. I know you ain't drove all the way from Florida. Get bound up, everybody shut that at the But God, we pour. Is there all in your house? Let it work, let it work. Let it work, let it work. Is there oil in your house that you can open up and pour and say, Bring me a vessel? Who's gonna be the vessel that God uses to save the family, to save the generation? Is it gonna be evolution? that God uses to distribute peace and healing and deliverance. Wow. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They'll be right among us. But glory to God. Only those who are willing to say, God, for me, I'll shut the door. 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 Him about shut. I'll shut the door. I'll shut the door. I got some things going on behind closed doors. I'll shut the door and I'll pour out right now in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah! Hallelujah! when I close the door but I'm closing the mouth of the enemy I'm closing the mouth of the lion you will not be devoured glory come on it's my miracle night it's my miracle night lift your hands it's my miracle night. It's my daddy and shit. It's my miracle night. Tell it you'll shut out of the side. How the little boy shut up. Your family has got to get a revelation. Hallelujah. That miracles, signs and wonders be upon you. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's a fresh wind coming your way. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Out of the heavens, God said it. And he say, I'm going to blow him by my shire upon it. I'm going to cause it to live. And your shit. Come on, open your mouth. Hallelujah. The oil flows. The oil flows. The oil flows. The oil. Flows. The oil. Very inside. 
God said, gird up your loins and your faith. This is an inside job. It looked good on the outside. But God said, that's Hallelujah. And as you go into your secret chamber of prayers, hallelujah, God said, I'm going to give you strategy, hallelujah, on how to get through this. You're not going to lose your mind. And you ain't going to hurt nobody. Somebody shout, you ain't going to hurt nobody. That's what the enemy wants you to do. He wants you to come out of character. He wants you to come out of, listen, they... But every now and again, I, oh, I feel it. God said, I'm not gonna allow you to get to that place. I'm gonna literally put a restriction. When you wanna say, it's like you want it, yeah, but you cannot. Cause God said, this is more about your integrity. And the enemy, the accuser of the brethren is waiting, is waiting to have a true accusation. See, y'all, y'all worried about the accuser. I ain't worried about that. I just don't want it to be true. Because some stuff he's saying is true. They say, they sanctify, hallelujah. But the accuser, we're not going to give him the space to tell the truth. And it work against you. Hallelujah. But there's oil if you have. Father, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. He I'm not gonna lose place. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it, woman. Hallelujah. I'm not gonna lose my place in this, but I'm gonna hold steady. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And y'all should be praising. Y'all should be worshiping. Y'all should be pouring oil. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we give you glory. I'm not losing this time. Hallelujah, it's not going to shake me out of place. Come on, I'm not moving, I'm not moving, I'm not moving. I'm not moving, hallelujah. You got to learn, woman of God, how to put enough oil around you to where when the enemy goes to grab you, you're too slick. Oh God, we pour the oil tonight in the name of Jesus. There is oil in your house. There is oil in your house. Hallelujah, and I speak that your oil will flow. 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 Somebody shout flow. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. And give them the old, yes, Lord. Father, we thank you for impartation tonight. The Lord said you had to be in this atmosphere to receive the impartation where your oil has been stopped up. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, we unplug where the oil has been stopped. That the stopper, hallelujah, comes undone now. Glory to God. Lift your hands. Glory to God. You do it for other folk. But God said it's going to happen for you. Open your mouth and hear. There's oil in your house. There's oil in your house. It's flowing now.
head to the sole of his feet. I will establish you. I will strengthen you. God said, I'm doing this with myself. Hallelujah. But it's going to be in your poor and in your house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm telling you, get with the woman of God and get behind the closed doors and begin to pour and begin to pour and begin to pour. He's got vessels in the house. where you seek to go to go where you desire to go God said it's gonna be what you do behind closed doors that's gonna determine what you do in public and where you go but I have the key to open every door for you says the Lord hallelujah come on somebody worship in here God we believe you for your oil we believe you for your glory we believe you got it and you're shitted no 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 hallelujah you're not gonna have to keep taking meds for this hallelujah glory to god woman of god hallelujah yeah go ahead go ahead it in your shy i'll do it through the oil i'll do it through the oil i'll do it through the oil I'll do it through the oil, not another prescription. I'll do it through the oil, not another doctor's report. I'll do it through the oil. I'll do it. Somebody give him glory. Somebody give him glory. Somebody give him glory. Go ahead, work right there. Y'all gotta be able. Work in the oil. You gotta be able to tap the and stir it up. Come on, somebody. Tap into the oil until you strike oil. Tap it to the oil. Come on, hit it again. 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 Until you tap. Y'all ain't hitting it. Y'all ain't hitting it, but you'll talk to your through for your mouth. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm going to get in. And the oil's going to flow. And ain't nobody going to stop it. Ain't nobody going to, oh God. Hit it again. Thank you God for shipping me here. Thank you God for delivering me. Thank you God. Under the double shot. I'm not where I used to be. It was the oil on my life. The assignment, the assassination attempt, the oil delivered me. The oil saved me. fall y'all real nice but I'll be like David let me see my enemy fall let me see them who don't believe in me fall now give them glory give them glory give them glory heaven of my child Give him glory. I will see my enemy come down. 
devil a favor. It's all right. Favor ain't fair. You got that level of favor. That God's been looking at you the whole time. You got that level of favor. And some folks ain't even going to want to do it. But I love God in the way. Hallelujah. See how everybody get quiet? They ain't even happy for you. Y'all ain't no hating church, are you? But what the Lord says is, by the time you can think about it, before your very eyes and you ain't gonna have told nobody you know like God because you need to know that he really is concerned about you he really is considering you for the utmost favor to be shown in the earth and all you have to do is give him the glory because can't nobody do this but God hallelujah ain't nobody can read your mind Somebody give him glory in here. 